guys, this is Aaron with 3D Printer OS. Today I'm going to show you how to go from search to magic fix to resizing to cloud slicing and printing on the Replicator 2. Um, so for today's purposes, I actually want to print the Professor McDuckley file. So instead of going to Thingiverse and downloading one of my files from there, I can actually just search here. Uh, our search is powered by Yegi. It'll it goes across Thingiverse, GrabCAD, you know, uh, you imagine different sources. It'll bring up the file for me. So there's my Professor McDuckley. I just got to click Add. And that's going to actually send it right on over to my files. So click my files here. And wait for this to load just for a second. And what we can do is actually take a look at this duck. See what he looks like. Give it a second to load. He's kind of big. So I, I don't think I need him this big. What I'm going to want to do is actually resize him. So I'm going to click on STL editor. Click resize. As you can see, this is way too big. Uh, I'm going to take him down to be about 25% as big. And let that go for a second. Now that we resize the duck, the last thing I'm going to want to do, uh, just before I actually send this to print, is I'm going to want to click Magic Fix right here. Uh, Magic Fix, this auto repairs, orientates, and resizes objects that are like, way too big for the platform to get them ready for your specific printer. I'm um, using the Replicator 2. I'm only doing this to make sure it's watertight and you know it's laid flat on the build platform. So I'm going to let the workflow run here. And let this finish out. Workflow finished. And here's my file. Magic fixed, resized. See what he looks like when I want to get him ready for slicing. And you see this button right here? I'm going to want to click Show Only My Printers. So I have the Replicator 2. This is how he looks on the build tray. Nice little Professor McDuckley ready to go. And there's these basic settings here, uh, layer thickness, shell, th shell thickness, and infill, and I can mess with the uh, different types of materials or my extruder setting. What I'm going to want to do actually is go to advanced, because uh, for this print in particular, I want to play with a few different things. I'm going to actually lower my bottom layer speed to 10 millimeters a second, I'm going to turn my raft off, change my layer thickness to 0.12, and this infill is unnecessary for the little guy here. So now that I have this ready to go, I'm just going to click start, let it slice. And this is my G-code rendering. In a second, it will pop up for the R2. So let's let that go. Um, as you can see, this is a Replicator 2 G-code. I could hover over it. As you can see, printing duration 15 minutes is a fast little print. I can click print. Um, what I want to do before I start it is click live view. Just make sure my print bed's clear. It is, which is awesome. I'm going to click go print. So now the streaming process has started. Uh, I'm printing via Raspberry Pi 2. So this is sending over to my Pi 2 connected to the uh, MakerBot Replicator 2. And as you can see, it, it just downloaded to the Pi 2, and now the status has changed to heating. So I'm going to continue this in the background. I'm actually going to head on over to my Printers tab and just uh, kind of see what's happening over at the printer here. So I'll scroll on down. I have a lot of printers. I'll click Live View. As you can see, there is movement. Uh, so now my printer is heating. So that's the basic process from uh, slicing, resizing, repairing, to printing on the Replicator 2. If you have any questions, you can leave it in the comment section of this video or reach out to us via our website. But as always, happy printing.